Northwest State is close to my home and with having a family, I wanted to be closer to home instead of having to travel or live on campus somewhere further away with being a working mom and having a traveling husband. So it was easier to be closer to home. Prayer professional is a pretty broad term. Um, you could be a para and be just a classroom para, um, which would just be like a teacher's aide and helping the teacher in whatever she needed. So there's one-on-one -on -one paras who um, work with a single child every single day, um, all the time while they're here from whatever time they get there to whatever time they leave. Northwest State, everyone is very friendly and they, I feel like they want to help you succeed. I've been to other colleges and sometimes I don't feel as welcomed, you're just a number there. In Northwest State it was more like you're a person, I want to help you get to where you are, but I also know you have a life outside of school. My experience there was awesome um, and so once I got to college I didn't really need extra help but it still required a lot of work for me to be able um, to succeed and do well in academics in school. Um, and the thing that I really appreciated about Northwest was class sizes were small. They weren't any bigger than my high school classes. Um, and so I got to know my um, professors really well. And so when I wasn't getting something or if I needed extra help, they were there and more than willing to help me. Um, and I think that that's probably a really big reason why I was successful in the first place was because I was able to build a relationship with each professor and all their professors and my experience really cared about um, whether you were successful or not. When I first started there, Pat definitely helped me. But recently when I came back to finish my degree, Amy Thomas was amazing at helping me and I know the Dean was also, I didn't personally talk to the Dean, but I knew she was also in there helping, making sure my classes would transfer, like looking at the syllabuses and saying, okay, they it says it doesn't transfer, but she did the same exact thing that we would. So I know the Dean also helped. The head start and the bat and the behind Northwest State, that I really liked that field experience being back there. I don't know if the same teacher's there when I was there, but she was helpful too. And then I would um, second Amy Thomas, was absolutely amazing. The last semester was probably a another hard one just because there's a lot of extra work and um, you're about ready to graduate, so you are kind of treated a little bit more as if you are actually in the field and not a student, um, which is really awesome and it's good, but it's also really hard. Um, and so she provided a lot of help and a lot of encouragement and wherever she could help, she was there and she never made you feel like you were dumb or a bother, a bother yeah. to ask questions or to ask for help. Head Start really helped prepare me for my next step because I also was at Wauseon Head Start and going back to I had to write lesson plans and being able to have a teacher that I was underneath at Head Start and then also being able to go back to Amy just really prepares you. I think that just all the field experience that I got um, I might not have been actually interning the whole time, but at least once a year. So I, it's a two-year degree, but I took four years um, to complete mine. Um, but every single year I had some kind of in-field experience, even if it was just like a single project that required maybe 20 hours in the classroom to observe and you wrote what you learned on it or um, what you would change about it or whatever. Um, there was always some kind of field experience that kept you connected to the classroom. We are at Fayette Local Schools and I co-teach with um, Mrs. Gordon here in the classroom and we're a morning and afternoon preschool classroom. I love it here and I'm glad this opportunity arose for me to get my foot in the door and apply. It's been 
amazing because we have learned so much through um, challenges and stuff that we just we all have to put our heads together and yeah we're we're learning for sure. <laughs> we're still we learning. I don't think you ever stop learning as a teacher no. or a para. But but we have great other preschool teachers oh, yeah. in the other classrooms more willing to help. We have great a great support system I would say here. Oh yeah. For being first time and mm -hmm. that also helps. But also I didn't mention that they have a success center, but it's there all the time if you need help with any kind of um, and I think that that goes a long way because it helps a lot of students mm -hmm. be able to be successful. Yeah, I can truly say that I learned a lot in Northwest State and I know some with those bigger classes you might not you might not feel like you're actually learning anything. You might not feel like you're going to you're not going to remember it or and I truly feel like I learned what I needed to learn to be successful in the school.